Hi, Charlie Collins here, founder of Vision Dynamics, a retail store serving people with vision impairment for the past 15 years. In this video today, Tracy's going to show you how to set up your new iPal Vision and she will go into depth how to get the most out of your new reading machine. Hi, I'm Tracy from Vision Dynamics and I'm excited today to show you how to unpack and get started on your new ABIC Vision from Vision Dynamics. I'm going to be referring to it as the Vision from this point on. So when you first get it, you're going to get it in a nice white box. You'll pull it out of the box and it's going to be about a very lightweight six pounds um, that's going to come out and you're going to lay it on a flat surface. And what's going to also come with it is your remote that you'll plug in. You're also going to get a power cord that's going to come in two pieces. One piece is going to plug into the back of your vision and have a brick at the end of it. That's this back here. The other piece is going to plug into the brick and then plug right into your socket in your wall. So we've already done that here at Vision Dynamics to make it a little easier for me. So. Um, but let me show you, when I lift it up, that brick part is going to be plugging in to the back of your vision on the right hand side. There's a round plug, it's very near the base of where the camera is. Off to the left is going to be a flat plug where your remote is going to um, plug into. There's actually two plugs for that flat um, USB plug and either one can be used for the remote. In the middle you've got your VGA cable that comes with your monitor and that's going to plug in in between the two. The two easy ones are the ones on the outside. You may need some assistance with the VGA plug for your monitor. I'm visually impaired. I do real well with the two outside plugs. That VGA can be a little tricky sometimes. So once you get everything plugged in you're going to want to lift up the arm of the camera and you hear that click. That tells you it's in place. Then the camera comes up and we're ready to go. Now in the front, you've got your remote plugged in. In the front are two primary buttons. To the left is your on off button and to the right is volume. Then I've got it open already. I'm going to close it and show you again how it opens. There's a little door. One more time. The door is to the right of the on-off button in the volume and there's a, a thin horizontal line that you can feel. When you press down on that line, it opens up your door. In that door, we've got some extra buttons. All the way to the left is a button that will help us back up on our text a line if we want to hear again uh, print that has already been read to us. Next over to the right of that is the pause button. And closest to me, there are two buttons, one on top of the other. Those two buttons will speed up and slow down the rate at which your vision is going to read to you. But we'll go over those again in just a minute. Let's get it started. So the button all the way to the left is our on-off button. I'm going to turn it on. And I hear some music beginning to play. That's great because that's telling me everything's plugged in properly. And while it's playing that music, I'm going to get some print ready. I'm actually going to start off using some print that comes with um, your vision that's going to give you some instructions also as to how to set it up. The other sound we're going to hear in just a minute when the music stops is the camera zooming in and zooming out. That's also a great sign because it's going to tell us that everything's warming up and getting started. My monitor is also turning on. You may have an on-off button on your monitor, so if you don't see your monitor light up, it could just be that you need to turn your monitor on. Just having it plugged into the back here doesn't necessarily please turn on your, your screen. Oh, we just heard it say, please place your document. That's a good thing. It tells us that it's all ready to go. So I'm going to put my print, print up, underneath the camera. Anything about 8.5 by 11. It took that picture, and now it's ready to go. Abby C., 
so much easier. Quick start for iPal Vision. Step one, place the iPal Vision. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a minute. So all I did again in review is I turned it on. We heard the music. We heard the camera warm up. And then we heard the words, please place your document. I placed the print down. The camera took a picture of it. And then I used the pause button so I could stop for a minute to speak with you. So I can start again if I'm ready to continue listening by hitting the pause button. And again, that's behind that secret door to the right. There's a horizontal line. I feel that line. I give it a press down and it opens up the door. That pause button is all the way over to the left. There's a backup button, a pause button. Vision on That'll a flat surface again. with the front panel buttons facing toward you. I can back step, up. Step one, place the eye, end of text. So much easier. Easier. Quick start for iPal Vision. Step one. So what I've been just doing here is I was pressing the pause button. I was also pressing the back up one line. It actually backed up all the way to the bottom of the text if it was going all the way back because it's taken that picture. So if I want to hear from the beginning again, I can keep backing it up. Or if I just want to hear the previous line that was just read, I can back that up and hear it again. Then all the way to the right, the up and down buttons in this secret section here is the speeding up and slowing down of the speech. So I'm going to... One, place the eye panel vision on a flat surface with the front panel buttons facing toward you. Step two, unfold the camera by pulling the camera really arm off. Really speed clicking sound indicating that the arm is in place. Then swivel slash pull the camera head up until you hear a clicking sound. Okay. Another great feature that can take place with these Step secret three. buttons. Oops, I accidentally hit the pause button again. Is if I'm using my vision and for some reason it's not working properly, I need to restart it. A quick way to do that is to hold in for several seconds that button, that backup button. If I hold that button in for several seconds, it'll restart the whole system again for me. Just to the right, that pause button, if I hold that pause button in, it's going to um, inactivate, activate I should say, the hand gestures motion. And let me show you what that does. Connect an external monitor or home TV to the gesture commands enabled. Gesture commands enabled. So now what happens is just with the wave of my hand, I can stop and start the reading of the text. The hand motion needs to be slow and low to the base of the machine. So I can... VGA port located on the back side of the base. Start it again. Base. And if the, the phone VGA rings or I need to stop, can I can pause it. That's moving my hand left to right underneath the camera. I can also, just like with the left hand button in that secret compartment, back it up a line. That I can do with my hand right to left. Step three, connect an external monitor, then swivel slash pull the camera head up. Until step two, unfold Backing the camera up the by pulling again. the camera arm up until you hear a clicking sound indicating that the arm is in place. Now I can pause. Place, then swivel Oops. slash pull the... Okay. So that, you can have that enabled if you want to turn that off. Some people don't want that option available. Sometimes they're using their hands a lot and accidentally pause it. Um, or if they're not familiar or can see where the camera is, they're very low vision or blind, they don't want the hand gestures um, working, you can just hold the pause button again and it'll shut that feature off. So quick review is our on-off button all the way in the front to the left volume, then in that secret compartment behind the door, I'm going to hold that button or push that button down, is our backup button, our pause button, and our speed up and slow, but, slow down buttons, one on top of the other. So all of that can happen just from the machine itself. Now if you want to do some extra functions, we're going to move on to the keypad. Now the bottom part to this keypad, and this was the keypad that we plugged in in the back off to the left hand side behind this machine. There was that flat um, plug that you plug into the back. This also has on the bottom four arrows. And in the center of that arrow is the pause and start again feature. Camera head up until you hear a clicking sound. And I can pause. That's that middle button. It's, it's a square button with a round circle on it in the center of the four arrows. Above that 
pause button is an up arrow. That arrow will take us up the text. Then swivel slash pull the camera. Right. Step two, on step one. Just like the that backup button that we were using on the device itself, the up arrow will move us up. The down arrow will move us down one line at a time. Step two, then swivel slash. Step three, cut the VGA port is a 15 pin. And then I'm going to pause. So that's your up and down arrow. To the right and left of that pause button, that's going to move you forward and back one word at a time. I can go back a word. 15 pin. A is port. And I can go forward. Is A. 15 pin. And that's with your left and right arrows to the pause button that are going to move you forward and back through your text. So again, the bottom part of this remote, you've got four arrows and a pause button in the center of that. Those buttons are going to move you up and down and side to side throughout your text. <clears throat> now at the top, this, these buttons on the top have more to do with what you're seeing on your monitor. We've got a top, all the way to the top, you have two buttons close together. One button is your top left button. It's a square button with a plus sign on it. That's going to increase the size of the print on your monitor. The button to the right of that, a square button with a horizontal line on it, is going to reduce the size of the print. Okay, moving clockwise around your keypad, we come to a yellow square button, and pressing that is going to change our color contrast on the monitor. So I can move through. Pick one that looks good for me, or depending on what my mood is that day. But we can make it nice and large. And that, I increase the size again by the top left hand button with the plus on it. Now, the next feature I'd like to show you is how to save uh, the documents that you have. If you want to save, you can save up to four images on your remote here. And what that means is, for example, once start from the very beginning. Vision. Quick start. Please place your document. What you need to do first is place your document, whatever it is that you want to save, on the scanner bed. It needs Happy to take seat. the picture before so you much can save easier. it. I'm going to pause it. Now your save button is around to the left, going counterclockwise. It's a white square with a vertical line on it. That's your save button. I press that button and any arrow. The image saved. And now I've saved that image. So I can continue on listening to the reading. Easier. Quick start for iPal vision. Step one, place the iPal. And I'm going to pause it. Now say I've gone on to page two, page three of my reading, and I want to go back and read page one again. Or I want to save it because I know that um, it's important information. I hit the recall button to bring that back. That's the top right hand button with a horizontal line on it. I hit the recall button and the arrow I saved it to. Processing image. It's going to bring that Happy image C. back. So much easier. Quick start for iPal vision. Step one. So that's how you can save an image and then recall an image. You can save an image up to four arrows, um, one arrow per image. Okay? Now, one of the great things about this is there's a cheater button um, with your iPal Vision that's going to be able to give you a lot of this information built right in. That cheater button is just, it's a smooth round button just above your up arrow. When I hold that in, it's going to give me an overview of the box itself, the vision box, the base, the camera, and the buttons on here iPal allows you to read printed text and can save up to four pages on a keypad. I need to hold keypad. the button in while I'm listening. You can control the reading using your front panel buttons. Keep. The minute I let go, it's going to stop. And then if I press it in again, it's going to start from the very beginning. So remember to hold it in to listen. And that's, again, going to review the, the unit itself. If I want to review and learn again, or if I've forgotten what one of the buttons does on the remote, I can hold that button in and press any of the buttons and it'll tell me what that button does. iPal, the pause slash resume button is located in the center of the arrow keys. The pause slash resume button is marked with a black circle. 
So you hold that cheater button in, I'm going to call it, I think it's referred to as something different in the, cheater, in the manual, but I'm going to call it the cheater button. Um, hold that in, press any of the buttons, and it'll tell me what that button does. Listen for the whole description because sometimes the buttons have two functions or partnered with another button has a function. So it's important to listen to the whole thing. But it's a great feature because there'll be times, even though you've watched the video, you've read the book, you might forget what a button does. It's a great way to quick find that out. Above that cheater button is another square button with a raised circle. That's going to move us now if we want to go into magnification mode. Magnification mode will give us the ability to look at a photograph or read a business card or sign a quick check. Um, something, you know, a short little task like that is very doable under the magnification mode. So again, it's just above that cheater button we just talked about. Magnification mode. That's going to give me the ability to, to look at things like this brochure. I want to view this brochure on my own so I can place it underneath there and read the words. I can see what's on there. There's an eye on there. This is our Vision Dynamics brochure. If I hit the up and down arrow on the bottom part of the um, remote, if I hit that, that will sharpen the image if it's slightly out of focus. I can brighten by hitting the right and left arrow, either side of the pause button. Brightness up. Brightness up. Or I can darken it. Brightness down. Brightness down. So those two functions down there will help improve the quality of the picture if it needs any improvement. And you can still go ahead and change your color combinations just like we did in reading mode. That right hand square yellow button changes our color combinations. I can also enlarge the image with the plus and minus the two top right and left buttons on the top of the remote. I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. So this is a great way to be able to just get in there and view a quick photograph. Like I said, if there's anything you want to see for yourself, uh, this is in magnification mode. Now I'm going to press that button again, the one above the cheater button, the square button, with the round raised dot on it, and it's going to bring me back to reading mode. Reading mode. Please place your document. Now, one of the great things it's helpful with is here's a small box with print on the side. I can lay that box in between the four dots on the surface of your mode. vision. It's going to go into fine print mode going to be able to take a picture of that box and read it to me. KLFH intensity bulb. No. Now it's reading S36 inside of the box 29, 100. End of text. KLFH and please place your document. So if you have text on the side of a box, anything raised, it can read it to you. This is another light bulb box. So I'm going to lay it down. So things can be a very short distance Fine from the camera mode. as well. We've had taller boxes underneath here. Nowadays they're putting print on every possible area of a box and it can be very challenging with low vision to try to read that. But you can stick a brownie box, a UPS box that comes to you, you want to see the label on it before you Light open output. it. Light output, rated life, MOL, diameter based type. So it's reading to me the four million eight hundred ninety one uh, statistics on the bulb. MOL diameter based type. Please place your document. So it gives you access to all types of print. It doesn't have to be just a flat um, magazine or newspaper or book. It can be a raised box, like a light bulb box, as I said. Um, I just want to make sure I've got all the functions. We've got our magnification enlarging on the top left, making it smaller on the right color contrast on the right. We reviewed our save buttons. You press the save button on the left with the, um, press, I'm pointing at the wrong button, I'm sorry, with the uh, vertical line and any arrow and your document will be saved to that arrow. The recall button is the top right with the horizontal line. Press that and the arrow and it'll bring back any image that was saved to that arrow. We've got our cheater button just to the top of the up arrow. 
Above that button is our reading um, button and magnification button. That button ch um, changes you back and forth from either mode. And then um, we, when we put some print down, if you press the up and down arrow together, it'll give you information about how much print or how now many columns is so on much that easier. page. Quick, so much easier. Quick Oops. four main sections, three headers, 208 words, 65% text. So what that does is it gives you an overview. So you, if you have very low vision, you'll have an idea how much print is on that text. Your right and left mode is going to be, or your right and left arrow, excuse me, is going to move you between column and table modes, different types of text. It can alter and uh, read better for you. So you can always contact us at Vision Dynamics for more information on the advanced features. We reviewed a lot today. I hope you learned more about how to use your vision. There's a lot you can do right from the box itself. Your remote is going to give you some additional features. But we want your reading again. We're excited for you to be able to have this device in your home and enjoy your independence and your easy reading again. Thanks so much for listening.